Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel where we are moving forward in life and in faith. If you're new here, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to this is your time to be redeemed. God is sending someone to redeem you and this is going to be a September to remember. This is going to be a September that you are going to remember. There are life-changing events that are taking place in September, okay? Now, according to the Hebrew calendar, we are entering into the new year of 5784, okay? And the actual new year for 5784, for begin September 15th, okay? So if you want to honor that or if you want to celebrate that or acknowledge that in some way, feel free. That's a great time to fast. That's a great time to consecrate because we're, we are entering into a new season. We're entering a new season as the seasons are changing, but then we're also entering a new season spiritually in our lives. Um, because it is a new year, okay? Five, seven, eight, four, according to the Hebrew calendar in September. And so when I was studying and preparing, the year five, seven, eight, four means chaff, okay? And so I'm like, what is chaff? And chaff is basically the corn of the seed being separated, okay? So when it's harvest time and you are threshing. And to thresh is basically separating the, the process of losing the edible part of the grain to the straw part. So you're, you have a plant and you're taking the part of the grain for your harvest, okay? So that is symbolic that it is a harvest time a harvest season, okay? And so, and particularly, he led me to scripture. Um, and this is and not an unfamiliar passage. It's about Ruth and Boaz. And so, the the scripture that he led me to was Ruth 3.1. And the title of this passage is Ruth at the Threshing Floor. Okay, Ruth at the Threshing Floor. And we are at in entering the year 5784, of threshing, okay, where things are being separated, things that can no longer go with you um, into your harvest. So don't be surprised if you're losing things, okay, losing people, situations, um, because those those things cannot go with you into this harvest season. And so it's just very quick scripture. It's Ruth three one and says, one day Naomi said to Ruth, my daughter. It is time that I found a permanent home for you said that so that you will be provided for, okay? And so God is saying to someone today that you're finding a permanent home. I don't know what your situation is or where you are right now, but God said this is going to be a permanent home for you and you will be provided for. Where I am planting you, where you are, there is not only restoration, not only am I giving to you what you lost, but there is also provision, okay? There is going to be financial provision. There is going to be housing provision. Everything that you need to carry out the assignment, to do what I'm calling you to do, will be provided for. This is a permanent place. This is a permanent place that I am establishing you so you can establish my kingdom. Okay, so this is the year of 5784 of threshing, okay? So there's going to be a separation where you are going to be greatly separated <laughs> from who you once were, greatly separated from the competition, greatly separated from anything that doesn't fit the move of God in your life right now, okay? So God is saying, prepare yourself. This is a new season. This is a new year. God is doing a new thing. We talked about all of these things. If you have been watching on Jordan's journey, I have mentioned all of these things to you. And so now we are entering that time. God is separating you and elevating you. And so this is a time for you to prepare for the harvest. 
prepare for the harvest. God said, this is going to be a September to remember, okay? So there's going to be a redeemer, okay? You're being redeemed. And according to, um, this is just a Google definition, a redeemer back in Hebrew days is a person who, as the nearest relative of someone, is charged with the duty of restoring the person's rights and avenging wrongs done to him or her. Okay, so God is sending a person in your life, whether it's through a partnership, whether it's through a marriage, whether it's through a friendship, God is sending someone in your life that is going to restore, that is going to restore you what, that that God has given them the duty to restore everything that you lost. Okay. There's, there's a redemption. God said you're being redeemed. You are being saved. Okay. And so now is the time that you are going to have a permanent home and you will be provided for in this home. Wherever God is establishing you in this season. Okay. And so it's a new year. It's a new season. Things are happening. It's harvest. Okay, a great separation where you are being separated and you're collecting the harvest. Okay, there was a separation that happened where things were removed and now you get to receive the harvest because everything that did not belong, that could not go with you has been removed and now you can rest in your harvest. You can enjoy your harvest. Okay, and so if you need additional resources to help you grow in life and faith, make sure you check the description box below. If you need a one-on-one -on -one coaching session to really help develop and to really get you in alignment with what God is doing in your life, make sure you book that below. God loves you so much and so do I. Bye.